Welcome back to Fox 8 News in the Morning. Cleveland City Council could soon vote to declare racism a public health crisis, which would make Cleveland the first city in the Buckeye State to do it. It was proposed by Ward 7 City Councilman Bashir Jones, and he joins us live this morning to talk about it. Uh, Councilman, first of all, good morning. Thank you, sir, for getting up this morning so early. Appreciate it. Brother Dawson, thank you. All right, Matt, before we talk about the resolution, let's, let's talk about you as a city councilman, a longtime Cleveland resident, man. When, when you saw what happened over the weekend, first of all, did you believe it, and, and what was going through your mind? You know, I'm, I'm actually surprised it didn't happen a lot sooner. Uh, when you have situations like Timothy Russell, Melissa Williams, 137 shots, when you have Denisha Anderson, when you have uh, stories like this, of continued police brutality and uh, no justice for those who committed the crime, uh, you know, this type of destruction is a small symptom of a bigger problem, which is, uh, which is structural racism. Everybody's talking about these outside agitators who came in. Um, was, was that your reality? Did you, first of all, were you down there that day? No, no, I decided not to be down there uh, because I, I, I felt that this was uh, a possibility, um, so I decided to keep myself and children away. Um, and, and ultimately, we know that this was a uh, majority peaceful rally, mm -hmm. but you had people who came from the outside and caused major problems. You had young white boys and young white girls who came and uh, with the intentions of being destructive, but you also had young black men and young black girls and young white men and white girls and and so forth and so on, who mm -hmm. came to be peaceful. Talk about the resolution that, that, that you're proposing. You're, you're talking about making racism uh, uh, a, a public crisis. Talk, talk about that, and, and how would that look? You know, racism has been a public crisis for almost 400 years here in America. And the problem is, is that we have yet to acknowledge it. Uh, even W.E.B. Du Bois, he said that racism the color line is the problem of the 19th century. Well, it's still the problem in the 21st century. Um, so this document is basically saying Cleveland is going to take a look at what's going on. But for some people, they need to see data. But my life has been the data that racism has played, has been destructive. And racism is not just destructive uh, on the lives of black people, but it's also destructive for the lives of all people. And that's what we have to understand. When you think, when you when you consider the fact racism is systemic in, in, a, in, a, in a lot of areas, police in a lot of other areas, will something like this actually make a difference? It needs to, Brother Dawson. I mean, we live in a city that's majority African American, but the majority of the police department is 60% white men. Um, when we look at the fire department, 75% white men. EMS, 64% white men. So our city and its workforce must represent the demographic of the city. We need more women in position. We need more black and brown. We need more Latino, Asian, so forth and so on. If not, we will continue to be a city that is not welcome to all people. Hence, if people don't feel welcome, why would they want to be here? What do you think it's going to take to change hearts and minds? Uh, when I was looking at, when I'm looking at the protesting all across the country, I, I see, you know, blacks and whites, you know, people of color, all, all you know, throughout the, all over the rainbow, walking together, protesting together. Does, does this give you hope for the future? You know, when you look at uh, marches for justice, uh, it has always been filled with people of different people, uh, different uh, cultures. You know, I had a ton of friends from the Jewish community who called and just said, I love you. And we can relate to your oppression. Um, we can relate to this feeling as a Jewish community. You know, um, so it's always been a multicultural effort. And that's what I want to say to everyone. This issue is not a black issue. It is a multicultural issue. And in order for us to bring about a change, it must be a multicultural effort. And I believe that what we, had, what we should have done is we should have sat down with the activists and said, hey, what is it that you want? And how can we chart a path forward? But at the same time, I would have said, if anyone destroys anything, you will be put into, into jail because we're not going to tolerate the destruction of our city. Cleveland City Councilman Bashir Jones, thank you so much for joining us and for your insight this morning, my friend. And thank you, Brother Dawson. We have a big march coming up this Thursday, a solidarity march 
at 6 p.m. on Huff Avenue. And uh, we're going to be marching with the police. And we want you to come on out and be a part of it because we understand that there are great police officers. There's not a representation of the police, just like one bad apple in a community is not representation of the full community. Thank you, Brother Dawson. Bashir Jones, thank you, friend.